Hey guys, what's going on? Okay, so Tesla Battery Day is coming up on uh, September 22nd, and uh, a lot of people have been wondering whether they should buy Tesla uh, before Battery Day, right? And what the expected price range is of Tesla uh, before and after Battery Day, right? So, I mean, there's so much news and so much hype already going on with Battery Day, um, and we're gonna take a, lot, a look into it. And the short of it is, I think that uh, whether, if you're buying into Tesla short term, just a profit off Battery Day, it's highly speculative, right? Because I mean, Tesla is uh, is probably one of the most volatile stocks that I've seen um, in the market. So I mean, it might also it might gain ten percent, it might uh, gain thirty percent, or it might decrease ten or thirty percent. Why? Well, I mean, uh, just because there's so much hype. So uh, if it, investors see that you know, even though there's significant improvements in Battery Day, um, they might have already priced that into the market, so it might decrease. But I mean, if you're doing this and it's a long term play for you, I definitely believe that Tesla. Um, will be a good long-term buy for all the reasons that I'll outline in this video, okay? And as you can see, there's already been a pullback from around $500 uh, after the split, uh, down 30%, and then now it's back up, you know, 30% um, to around $442, okay? So, um, I mean, I don't have owned any Tesla shares. I'm thinking of owning some just because Tesla is such an insane company, uh, and we're gonna go through this here. So, first of all, um, some of the new and more hyped updates for the battery day is that Tesla tablets battery patent published prior to battery day. So here, as you can see uh, in the underlying section, Tesla has published a new patent for battery storage and the contents are potentially very significant to te Tesla's mission to produce long range, lower cost electric vehicle batteries that will last as long as its electric vehicle hosts. Okay. Um, so the new patent, originally filed in November last year, but only published this month, describes a tabless electrode that does away with the tabs that connect the positive and negative terminals of a jelly roll battery. The goal is to reduce resistance and manufacturing costs, right? And so this is just one of the uh, hypes that are going into battery day is this new tabless battery. Uh, and we'll see if they will actually be able to uh, deliver on this expectation. Um, and I mean, Elon is definitely renowned for producing statements that could potentially harm him. Uh, you know, so talking about this new new patent, he's like way more important than it sounds, right? Um, and so here it goes on to talk about the technology involved. But I mean, pretty much all you need to know is that it reduces resistance and manufacturing costs, which is, which is part of Elon Musk's uh, or Tesla's mission, right? Um, and of course, if you go on his Twitter, um, you know, he's just hyping it up. Right here, many exciting things will be unveiled on Battery Day, uh, September 22nd, right? And so one thing I do want to uh, explore is that Tesla is not just about, uh, you know, producing cars, electric vehicle cars, right? Um, Tesla is also about, and if we look at their mission statement, it went from to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable transport, which is mainly EV. Um, however, in mid-2016, under Elon Musk's leadership, they changed its mission statement. So instead of a transition to sustainable transport, he's like to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Now this is huge, right? So, you know, because it indicates a slight but significant shifts in the company's business to address market opportunities for renewable energy and storage of renewable energy, right? And so, and not only, Tesla is not only an electric vehicle company, but it's also involved in producing, you know, efficient batteries uh, and solar panels to um, be able to produce renewable energy and store it in a massive way, right? And so, you know, part of this that just um, confirms this is, you know, this was like published uh, about a year ago. Tesla's Musk says solar energy storage will grow faster than electric cars. And there's some truth to it, right? So um, this is just a prediction that he made. And of course, will definitely most likely be true. Um, and so with Tesla making progress on Model 3 production efficiency, Musk said on the most recent earnings call that there will be more focus on solar and the broader Tesla energy business, which includes aligning intermittent solar power with battery storage, right? And if we look at the market cap opportunity of this, this is just a list of uh, the top energy companies by market cap, ExxonMobil, uh, valued at, uh, well, back in 2017, $342 billion, Royal Dutch, $218 billion, you know, Chevron, $200 billion, you know, uh, from France, $121 billion. And then you go all the way down. So this is just such a massive um, 
market here to move into energy, right? And you look at this, this these are all like oil and gas, right? None of these are, you know, renewable energy sources. So Tesla is pretty much leading the game when it comes to renewable energy uh, and solar powers and being able to store that in on a massive scale, right? And part of this is um, Tesla partnering with other companies, uh, so to build, for example, the world's largest energy storage facility in the U.S. Okay, so uh, here we can see Tesla and Pacific Gas, Gas and Electric, uh, are taking utility scale battery storage to the next level with the joint construction of a 182.5 megawatt lithium ion system in um, California in the states. Okay, saying PG&E, which is the other company, will own the facility at its uh, substation in Mass Landing, California. But the design, construction, and maintenance uh, operations will combine efforts by both the San Francisco-based utility and the battery and electric vehicle manufacturing Tesla, um, led by, of course, Musk. So once completed, Mass Landing will be the largest utility-owned lithium-ion battery energy storage system in the world, uh, according to reports, right? And so, you know, of course, this guy right here, uh, Kamath, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing his first name right, uh, saying, you know, this is important here, right? And he, he hits it spot on, I think. Uh, this is no longer about cars, uh, Billion Investor says. Uh, now I underwrite this company as a bet towards decarbonization, towards deregulated energy, and towards the ability for all of us to become our own little micro utilities, right? And this is, again, it goes hand in hand with the mission statement um, of Tesla, right? So, you know, and, and this is, of course, what investors and what people want more and more, right? Now there's more environmentalists. Now, you know, of, of course, if uh, Biden gains presidency, this is also good news for uh, Tesla and your, the renewable energy sector, right? Um, so it's not just about battery day and um, it's about everything related to, or battery in cars, right? It's about battery day related to, you know, storing of energy as well, um, right? And so there's been a leaked, um, uh, video or and leaked picture that um, pretty much hypes up battery day and that says that it will definitely exceed or meet these hyped expectations right so Tesla's battery day has been hyped so much that the event will have to include something truly amazing to live up to its expectations right and so a leaked image featuring what is supposedly a cell from Tesla's Roadrunner uh, line has emerged and if the leak proves legitimate it would appear that battery day will not only meet expectations it will be even more insane than expected, okay? So again, it's just huge, right? So while electric sources have mentioned that the Roadrunner cell will feature roughly double the diameter of the uh, 2170 cells that the electric car maker currently uses in the Model 3 and Y, Tesla enthusiast, enthusiast whoever, who is familiar with battery tech has observed that one of the leaked images uh, had the number 054 printed on the side. And so if this number represents the cell's diameter, it would point to Tesla's Roadrunner cells adopting a 54 by 98 form factor, which has 10 times the volume of a 2170 cell, right? So this pretty much just results um, in the company using only one-tenth the, the, of the number of rolls, cans, electrolyte films, and welds compared to its current operations, right? So, you know, this reduces uh, operating and manufacturing costs, right? Again, uh, just in line with their mission statement, right? Just making everything uh, faster, um, more efficient. Um, and it's just, so this is just very, very exciting news if this were to be true, right? The next piece of news is, um, of course, you know, again, Elon Musk just hyping up Battery Day saying that it'll be insane um, and is saying, here's what, why. So, uh, and this is more referring to the million mile battery. So high energy density and the million mile, mile batteries will accelerate the adoption of passenger and industrial electric vehicles, right? So although um, a passenger electric vehicle um, may not use the battery up until the millionth mile, when the robo taxi network comes out, um, this will uh, again speed up the longevity or will increase the longevity of those robo taxis who uh, pretty much will have to um, be on the road or, or can be on the road hopefully 24-7 or most of the time, right? So Blondel lists million mile batteries as well as in-house manufacturing and the integration of technologies from companies it has acquired such as Maxwell and Hibar among the re revelations that can be expected on battery day. Um, he also says, I'm anticipating 
innovation news on silicon anodes, cobalt reduction in their cathodes, and actions to improve the environmental sustainability of their supply chain, right? So it's just, it, it, it's amazing, right? Uh, but the real value in the million mile battery for the average driver, he says, is its underlying durability because this enables tangible benefits like aggressive charging, longer range, smaller sizes, and lower costs. Just overall increased efficiency, right? Um, and so, but 4,000 cycles and million mile lifespans will be important also to buses, taxis, fleet vehicles, and renewable energy storage where daily depletion of battery and low cost of ownership necessitate it. Uh, my bad says Blondel. Okay, so just insane, and they keep going um, on the more specific text of this, right? So, battery day could be incredibly hype, um, and I believe it will be, and I, I will definitely be watching it, and I honestly think that um, right now, I might be, buy a few shares to be a long-term shareholder of Tesla, because I do love what this company is doing, right? And again, uh, this goes on to their robo-taxi network, just published on September 14th, um, they had to delay their uh, release of their autopilot rewrite, um, which of course they need an amazing autopilot uh, program in order for actually Tesla to uh, roll out its robo taxi network. Okay, so Tesla CEO Elon Musk has updated the timeline for the release of the automaker's highly anticipated autopilot core rewrite, delay delaying it by about several weeks to a month. Okay. It will also include a more in-depth labeling system and should en enable Tesla to deploy more features under its full self-driving uh, package faster. Okay, uh, So, you know, he's saying that the, this improvement will come as a quantum leap because it's a fundamental architectural rewrite, not an incremental tweak. You know, I drive the bleeding edge alpha build in my car personally, almost at zero interventions between home and work. Limited public release in six to ten weeks. Okay, so... Um, you know, last year, Tesla or Elon Musk makes, you know, these sort of insane statements saying that, like, so last year, Musk announced Tesla's plan to deploy 1 million robo taxi vehicles for a self driving ride sharing network uh, by the end of 2020. Okay. Um, and so this new update is, of course, critical to Tesla achieving that goal, which Musk recently insisted is still achievable, right? Um, but I mean, we all know that it's mostly going to come one day or another, even if it's not, uh, you know, by the end of this year, uh, even if it's next year, it is still insane, right? Um, just because the timeline is delayed does not mean that this is going to change the transportation industry, right? So at this point, we need a major asterisk next to the 1 million robo taxi vehicles claim. Of course, that makes total sense, right? But still, he's just, you know, when we look at battery technology, when we look at energy storage, when we look at energy production, when we look at, when we look at renewables, right? When we look at fully autonomous self-driving vehicles, you know, when we look at fully autonomous self-driving taxi networks, right, it's just insane. And then one other thing that I want to point about, uh, which I really like about Tesla, is, you know, the release of Cybertruck, which is expected to take place in 2021. This here is just pictured, uh, you know, in my home province of Ontario, a um, uh, police car fitted uh, with, you know, the, the Cybertruck, right? So... One thing I like about this is that, you know, this is slowly changing also the perception to some customers of Tesla of instead of being just like a sedan and SUV manufacturer to more also being able to, you know, manufacture trucks, right? Which are, you know, definitely considered um, to some people like as more manly, you know, and, and only certain people will only drive pickup trucks, right? So um, this is also, this, with the introduction of the Cybertruck, it's sort of changing this perception of Tesla to not just a SUV and sedan a vehicle manufacturer, but also to the more, uh, catered to more towards a new addressable market, uh, which values trucks, right? So, uh, which shows that, you know, we can deliver on trucks um, that will also be able to have the same performance or even better performance as the standard trucks, right? So I just love Tesla, and I mean, should you buy before battery day? Um, I mean, there's just so much hype with Tesla. Uh, I, I don't know if I feel comfortable with investing in Tesla, right? I wish I could have bought it when it was like $330, uh, because now it's up by, again, over $111. And I still think if you're a long-term investor, go for it, right? But I mean, if you're a short-term investor looking to profit just based on battery day, I think it's like a crapshoot, right? You don't, like, especially with Tesla, right? But I do think long-term, this is definitely going to be the next, uh, you know, trillion-dollar company, right? In my opinion.
Okay, so let me know what you think. There's lots of exciting news, um, and I did a lot of research for this video, so if you do like it, uh, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe, uh, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time.